All right, so this is Mr. Filament's side grade slash upgrade. So I got tired of trying to work inside the box, uh, the Phyllis Tudor box, whenever there was an issue for me to deal with because it was really crammed full of wiring. So I separated all the electronics out into this box and added a couple features for myself. I have a switch to turn on the uh, cooling fans and exhaust fan. I have a dial to turn uh, to, to turn off or turn up the speed of the auger for the hopper. Uh, and I've made access for the stall board controls uh, and put the stall board in a place that you can see it because normally it's on it's back here and you have to look down on it. And I was always having to get on a ladder to be able to look at it and make adjustments. Now, as you can see, all the wire is because I put everything on connectors so that I could uh, you know, detach all the connectors and then work on this mechanical part of things without having to worry about all the wiring or take, take the wiring box, take the electronics box off and make changes to that without having to disturb that whole system because I was always having to take that apart to do anything with regards to electronics or whatever, which was a pain in the butt. So hopefully I reduced that and giving myself some more controls. Um, I wired the fans straight to the DC input though, so I can turn those on uh, without the system being on. And the light is connected to the fans. You can see the fans are going there. But, as far as I can tell so far, everything works. Turn on main power. And I've got my temperature control. And it remembered my previous settings, so it's auto-tuning for me. And since everything is completely empty, I can go ahead and run the motor just to show how everything else works. So say I was ready for extrusion and I had material in there. I'll go ahead and flip the extruder, extruder button on. And now the, the stall board lights up because now it's getting power because the power to the extruder goes through the stall board to control amps and volts and everything that, that the motor gets. And that is also powering the auger. So now that this is getting power, the auger hopper will get power. So I can turn that and it'll start going. Okay. So I'm hoping to be extruding sometime today, if not tomorrow. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post. Thanks.